Something interesting happened today. While I was on the bus, and I was watching YouTube, um, a commercial came on that actually didn't suck. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, right, I know. And sorry if I'm, my voice is lower. I'm back at my grandparents' house, they're in the other room, I have to have a lower voice. Or else they come in here and annoy the shit out of me. So, um, I was watching this trailer of a movie that didn't suck. Wow, that's also amazing. Um, and this girl, it started out with like this military government base, and that caught my attention. I like movies like that. Uh, and this girl is locked up her whole life, and they genetically created her, and I'm like, ooh, I want to see this. And it got cooler. The stupid thing I did, though, was I didn't listen to the name of the movie. I'm trying to find it, though, on YouTube. I really am. She is, like, abused and brainwashed, and they train her her whole life in this purgatory cell, this cage, and they just, because she's like superhuman, they genetically changed her genes to be telepathic and have telekinesis and telepathy and super strength, more strength than a normal human being. And they're like, she's still growing. Because one of the workers like pisses her off and says, do you really like this? Do you really think you should live here? What if we told you we were going to kill you? And then she's just like, it's all pissed and starts killing everyone. I'm like, oh, I need to see this movie. So, I've always, always thought slash known that you can have, we, it's been proven you, you can have telepathy, but telekinesis is a different story. Um, Telekinesis is pretty much having a really strong electromagnetic field around your body because ours are extremely weak um, and being able to interact with other objects that have an electromagnetic field and push or pull them towards you. And I've been watching sun gazing videos and apparently after like years, there's, there's an Indian guy who's been doing it for like 50 years, and he's telepathic, he's all these things, but he's not, um, he can't do telekinesis, and that's something that, like, kind of made me think, well, what, does it matter the person, does it, because there are other people on YouTube that have done sun gazing, and they're all different. Some people are extremely peaceful and very smart. Other people are, like, their looks just change dramatically. And they are still themselves, but they're still smarter. Um, because sun gazing helps your brain. I, I asked my mom this when I was a little kid. I asked my mom and dad a lot of good questions that they couldn't answer, so they would always get mad. Can't we stop eating and stop drinking water and just get nutrients from the sun because the sun gives plants nutrients? They didn't know how to answer that, so they just said no. And then as an adult, now, I find out that people can stop eating and stop drinking water by sun gazing for a long enough time, like a year. After a year, people are able to stop eating and live off pure nutrients from the sun, which is honestly amazing. Plus the sun heals your body, which is also amazing. There's proof of that. I'm sorry I can't talk with more enthusiasm. <laughs> enthusiasm. Because my grandparents are living here because this is their house. Actually, this house is owned by the bank. 
they never will own this house because they'll never pay this house off. Um, you know, I really wanted to buy the uh, defaulted mortgage note when they default on this house. But then I said, no, I don't want to live in a neighborhood, so why would I buy a neighborhood house? No, there's no point in that. Um, so back to the telekinesis thing, I do believe that people can use telekinesis. It's just that we need our, some way, we need to do, like, when they said in this trailer, the next stage of human evolution, I've seen so many videos that say humans are still evolving. You know, we've only been around for like 2,000 years, like 200, they like, uh, humans haven't been around for a very long, not at all. We went from like monkeys and then into our very healthy hunting style where we were very fit, very healthy. And we hunted meat, ate berries. We were perfect. We were finally in tune with nature and health. And then we began building civilizations and all that shit. And then we just started going down from there. And I like people who say that we've been advancing. We're really, we've kind of been de-advancing. All this technology is separating us and making us stupider. Even though it's cool. And new technology, it doesn't make it make us smarter in any way or make us healthier in any way. It actually makes us just die faster. That new Fitbit watch, it's not new. That new iPhone watch, that new new electronic sends off EMF waves, which can be cancer. The toxic streams from poi uh uh, chem chem trails chem trails look that up the fake clouds in the sky chem trails those are killing us everything in our society is killing us if I was stuck on an island I could live I could do that but I wouldn't mind I think people will develop telekinesis everyone but over like a period of 2,000 years it takes years for people, for our genes to mutate completely. We didn't just go from like monkeys to human beings in like 20 years. It just, it didn't happen. It, it took a long, long time. So you think that it would take a long, long time unless we fuck something up, our government fucks something up. Um, they do something to the people that fuck something up. They do something to the earth that fuck something up. You never know with the people who run our planet. It's only been that way for 50 years, by the way. I just found that out. This advertising kind of world where you need this, you need this, you need this, or you won't be happy kind of thing. You need to buy the new Coca-Cola. won't be happy. Or, or it won't make, you won't be happy. Buy the new Coca-Cola. So you're happy, because happiness comes from COVID. Or buy this new car, because it goes fast. Don't you want to be fast, don't you? It's like, we don't need any of this stuff. We need ourselves to make ourselves healthy, and that's it. To care about ourselves, care about the people we care about, that's it. Nothing else. We don't need all these unnecessary things that we didn't need like thousands of years ago. But marketing tells us we need this shit because if they didn't scare us and say, the sun's bad for you, it gives you cancer, then we wouldn't buy sunscreen. Why, why don't people understand that? I've told my mom that like a hundred fucking times and she's just like, well, there's a limit. 
You can be in the sun for a good amount of time, but there's a limit. You get sun cancer for so many other reasons than the sun. Or you get skin cancer from so many other reasons than the sun. You get skin cancer from the shit you put on your body. Oh my god. There's so many lotions. Do you read the ingredients that are in beauty products? Do you ever read the ingredients that you're rubbing on your face? Do you read the ingredients of the makeup you're putting on your face? No, you don't. You see some things in like Whole Foods that say that they're natural. You know what's natural? Buying the stuff yourself and making it yourself. That's natural, and it's hard to find even natural products. They just recently changed salt where there's no iodine in it anymore. You honestly should buy baking soda right now before they change the chemical structure of it. Because, what's, what's the uh, called? Sodium... Sodium bicarbonate heals cancer. It detoxes you and makes your body alkaline. It heals tons of problems, but so does the sun. But guess who doesn't tell us this? Advertisers. Why? Because they want to keep us sick. Because if we're sick, then we have to buy the products and they get money. When I tell people this, they don't listen for some reason. Maybe because they're dumb. And if I say that they're dumb, they get mad. But hey, you're not listening to an obvious fact. Why would someone want to tell you the truth when it won't make them money? Buy my skincare product. It has poisonous cancerous ingredients in it. Oh, I don't want to buy that. It's going to give me cancer. Buy my skincare product. It won't give you cancer. It has natural ingredients in it that will help alkaline your skin. Oh, okay, I'll buy that. Oh, oh, and if you don't buy it, the sun will kill you. You want it to protect you from the... Oh, I need to buy it now. So, yes, all these things with the world, I do believe you can increase the likelihood of having a higher consciousness because our um, and using telekinesis and hearing people's thoughts and doing all those things. I've experienced those things by just opening my third eye. But getting away from society is the best thing you can do because we're surrounded by poison everywhere. Our food, just standing here, there's electromagnetic fields from power lines poisoning my body, Radio. mutating my cells in a bad way, making cancer cells. There's baking soda in this water because it alkalines my body and gets rid of radiation. <sighs> Old people think that Going to the doctors, getting a kit, like a tumor uh, burned off, or I don't know how it works, radiation on that, they think that works? No. It kills that, leaves the radiated cells, and more grow later on. It doesn't heal you, because if it healed you, you wouldn't need to come back. <sighs> This is why I want to get away from people. This is why I don't want to live near anyone. This is why I just want to dig a hole, live underground, grow my own crops, and have my own life away from society. Because no one, and I mean no one I've met, listens to me when I tell them any of this helpful shit. They see me as closed-minded because they're lied to by the media every day and they'd rather live a lie than live the truth. Bye, everyone. Hope you have a sexy day.